Hi, welcome to another video from Lewern Consulting. This one is on managed spaces in Click Cloud. I hope you enjoy it and get some value. Okay, there are some limitations when you use a managed space. Uh, you can't publish on-demand apps. That's important. You can't see the data model um, or the script editor. You can't download or upload apps. You can, however, publish an app from an existing app that's in a non-managed space. You can't move apps uh, in a managed space to another managed space, and you can only use master items when you duplicate a sheet. Uh, fields are not available in the assets panel. There are three sets of permissions that are applied uh, to users in managed spaces. Uh, these are actions related to the space itself, actions related to the app itself, and actions related to data that's coming into the app. Uh, the role permissions vary depending on the license allocated to a user. So a professional user can do more than an analyzer user. Um, the next three pages show in green what is activated when a user is given a can manage role. This page shows you the space permissions that can be allocated uh, when it's a can manage role. Uh, as you can see, there's a number in green. Uh, important to note that you can't publish, republish apps to this space with this role. And I haven't been able to work out what export with data means, and I can't find any references to it. So I'm not quite sure what that one does. Okay, this is the can manage role and app actions. Uh, as you can see, there's a couple of things that can't happen, probably because of an analyzer. You can't add private or public sheets and you can't take snapshots in the app. Everything else seems to be possible. Once again, export with data. I'm not sure what that means. If anybody knows, that would be fantastic. Okay, data sources for the can manage role uh, when you're an analyzer. Uh, obviously, a few things you can't do. You can't create data sources, duplicate them or move them around uh, to another space and you can't create an app. Everything else should be okay under this role. I'm not going to read all of the roles here. Uh, I'll pause on this page for a little while to let you see uh, what can and can't be done. Uh, remember that you can have multiple roles assigned to one user. So for example, you could assign can manage and can consume if you needed to. Let's see how we can see that spaces exist. You'll see that there are uh, red indicators here, they're managed spaces, and the blue ones are shared spaces. And typically what I do is I go into the catalog area and I select the particular space that I want to look at. And I then select the types that I want to have a look at. In this case, I'm just looking at apps. Okay, let's have a look at how we publish and republish apps into a managed space. So I'm going to use the Sales USA app. I'll search for it up the top here. And when I do that, it's going to show me the data sources and also um, the two apps. So let me go to Types and I'll specifically choose Apps. And then I'll just see those two apps. Now you'll see one is in red. That's the managed app and the other one that's gray there. That is the one that's in my personal space. So I'm going to publish from my personal space into the managed space. If I click on the three right, then I click publish. Now you can see I can publish a new app, but I can also um, publish over the top of an existing app. So when I check on that, I've got the republish option and it's been republished. If I refresh the page now, I can see that that app was just published to that space. Users with the right permissions can look at um, published apps. Um, so easiest way to do this is to filter into a, a particular space inside the catalog. So we'll just look at um, the demo managed space area and you can see that there's one app inside there. So I can filter that to just look at um, anyone, uh, just me or others. 
And if I want to look at all the filters, I can do that easily by clicking on that last icon and then drilling down across lots of filters. Okay, here's a series of uh, managed space actions to do with the users inside the space. And so I'll just go through those. So again, easy to look in the catalog, look at spaces, choose a space, we'll choose the demo managed space. And we can see in here, we're seeing the data and also the app itself. Up the top here, we've got the ability to manage the space so I can delete the space. A bit dangerous, but yes, I can. Um, and I can also manage the members inside that space. So I can add members at the top here if I needed to. I can also um, choose to delete a member you know, by removing them from the space. And I can also change their roles. Now remember that roles um, are additive. So if you're adding additional pieces, everything in each of those roles will be combined into that space. And just once again, I can remove that user if I need to. When uh, a user has uh, add and edit data sources rights in the space, there's a lot that they can do. So let's have a look at some of those options. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll go into the demo manage space once again. And you can see in here at the moment, by default, I'm seeing the data sources and so on. I can manage the space and have a look at the data inside there. So I've got the option to add files, add connections which is quite useful. And of course I can delete a, a data source if I needed to. Uh, I can also duplicate it and I can move it potentially to another area. Okay, let's have a look at a particular data set. Um, I can open it and I can see all of the fields in here and some information, some met metadata, if you like, around there. I can also add a classification code into the data file if I need to. So clicking on fields just gives us that information again by itself with nothing else. I can make it a favorite. I can um, rename it, but um, interestingly, I can create a, uh, an analytics application directly from that file. You know, obviously, I can't put that back into the managed area because it's not managed, uh, but I can put it back into my personal space. So um, this is a fairly large file, um, and so it takes just a little while, but it will build an analytics app for me, and then I can do some analytics across this particular app if I needed to. So there's it loaded. I'm not going to build it at this time, so uh, I could go and build things, but uh, not necessarily in this presentation. Users can gi be given the rights to view and to add notes. So let's have a look at how that works. Notes are up in the top left hand corner and we can create an, a note. So if you want someone else to be able to view it in particular, you can reference them. Um, so I've just typed in Aiden, and I can see that he can view or edit notes. So I've allowed him to edit this one. And now I can put in some description of my note. I'm just going to call it my note. <laughs> Very exciting. And then I can add a um, snapshot of the particular chart that I wanted to look at. So if I go down into notes, in this area here, I can add a snapshot. It'll place it inside the app. Uh, I can also reference Aiden as at Aiden and that will um, give him an alert about it as well. When we uh, are playing with the apps, open, delete, edit, etc. So first thing is nice and easy to open an app if you've got the rights. You can just click on open app. Obviously it opens up for us and that makes life nice and simple. And we'll go back out of there for the time being. Um, we've also, if we go to the three little dots on the right here, now we can delete the app if we've got that right. We're not going to do that. Uh, if once we open the app, we've got the ability to uh, change the description uh, of the app and also the title. 
and we can do those things there. There's a little drop down above this grey box that allows us to do that. And then in this part of the um, properties, we can um, tell this app to be available for Insight Advisor in the hub. Uh, we can also change the themes for the application. Uh, we can turn off hover menus, which sometimes is useful if you've got lots of items on a page. It gets a bit noisy. And there's also uh, chart scripts now available inside Click, and so um, that'll be another video that we come to later. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and it's useful to make them. These roles are all around um, things you can do inside the space. Uh, you can open the data model viewer, you can view master items and variables, um, any media library that's been uploaded. You can add private sheets to the app, private bookmarks and private stories. So let's have a look at how those things work. Once again, we'll go in uh, and we'll have a look at uh, the ability to reload the app or schedule the app. They're available uh, to users with the appropriate role. Inside this space here, we can have a look at the data model viewer if it's available to us, if we've got that right. Uh, but you'll see that we don't have the ability to go to the script because that's not available inside the manage space for anyone. We can also go into a, a sheet and from the sheet we have the ability to look into the measures and the dimensions of the sheet um, and we can also jump into the data area and when we're in here we can have a look at the measure that was used and when we do that we've got the ability to drill down and have a look at the variables that are available inside the app as well. There may be other ways to do this but that's the only way I've found so far to look at the variables. So we're also able to upload media and use that image uh, for our app and, and other spaces where we might use our variables. Uh, sorry, use our uh, media. So that's where we get to that space. We can also um, publish sheets. So you'll see there the published by me and there's also a my sheet, which is one of my private ones. If I've got the right, I can publish that ac across and it'll come to become one of uh, published by me. Other people see that as community sheets and I can unpublish that if I've got the rights. So there, I'll just unpublish that one again. I can also publish bookmarks in a similar method um, I'm basically publishing something to, uh, to be private and then I can publish it to be in the My Community area if need be. And once that, that bookmark's published, I can, I can manage it. I can right-click on it and um, I'm able to publish it and so it becomes one that's available to the rest of the community. If you have a sheet that you have access to under My Sheets, you can edit that sheet. And as soon as you edit that sheet, you've got the right to the variables down in the bottom left-hand corner. It was nice and easy to edit variables. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of things we can do. Taking snapshots in the app, monitor a visualization, a search for app fields in Inside Advisor, and also search for app master items in the Inside Advisor chat. Okay, the first one of those was around taking a snapshot. So we can click on the three dots, take a snapshot. Uh, good practice is to name it well so you can find it easily afterwards. I won't do one now. 
So the second thing we'd like to be able to do is monitor that particular chart in the hub. So when we do that, it becomes one of the other things we can drill down inside the catalog. And that's quite useful. Let's have a look at how we can monitor things inside, inside Advisor. So uh, you'll see all the, the fields are all available here inside inside of Advisor for us to have a look at. And we can search for particular fields and we can build our own charts directly from here if we need to. But we can also ask inside Advisor. And so in my case there, I've just said margin by city and it's created the charts for me on the fly for me to be able to do that. You'll also see that I can look at master measures. And when I do that, uh, I've got much more governance, I guess, if I'm just looking at master measures because um, that makes life simple. They're already governed and, and useful. So I can click on those to start to create my own charts directly, uh, which makes life nice and simple. It also gives us insights into that particular This has been a large topic area. If you do have questions, please drop them into the comments area in the YouTube and I'll make sure to answer them for you. And um, as always, please uh, take the time to subscribe. It really helps uh, me to get more people listening to this and encourages me to make more.